Hi guys, it's Jade from the Saddle Bank and today we're going to be looking at the top 10 most popular jump saddles. So we're going to be looking at what defines a jump saddle, um, when you should be using a jump saddle and where you can find one. And of course, we're going to then deep dive into the 10 most popular jump saddles on the market so you can decide what's best for you and your horse. So if you're ready, let's get started. Okay, so firstly, let's look at what makes a jump saddle a jump saddle. So jump saddles are typically more forward cut than the everyday GP. And that's actually to help the rider get the best possible position over the jumps and obviously keep them nice and secure. So that usually requires the rider to shorten up their stirrups a few holes. So naturally the flap needs to be a little bit more forward cut. Um, obviously to enable the rider to obviously shorten the stirrups up, but make sure that their knee doesn't come over the front of that saddle. And jump saddles usually have um, large knee and or thigh blocks. Again, it helps the rider to get a really supportive position. And the size and position of blocks varies from brand to brand and model to model. So there's lots of different ones um, out there on the market, different brands, different models of saddle, and they all have very slightly different blocks. So getting the one that's right for you is really, really important. Now, jump saddles also usually have square cantles and flatter seats, although that's not always the case. They can also be dual or monoflap, with monoflap being the preferred choice for eventing in cross country. However, overall, a jump saddle should enable the rider to achieve the optimum position over fences whilst feeling supported and actually allowing the horse freedom of movement to really pick his legs up over those fences without being restricted. So when should you use a jump saddle? So jump saddles should really only be used for jumping as the name suggests um, so if you are doing show jumping cross country something like that that's a really good time to use a jump saddle as you'll benefit from the support it gives you and so will your horse because obviously your weight on its back if you're nice and stable and secure the horse has got a much better balance whereas if you're wobbling around all over the place you're going to cause the horse to be out of balance and his job's going to be a lot more difficult for him so imagine running around with a sack of potatoes on your back that has absolutely got no support. It's going to be all over the place. It's going to be pulling you left to right. It's the same thing for your horse. So if you're nice and secure, your horse can then go on and do his job, clear those fences for you. However, if you are just hacking out or doing a bit of general flat work, you should really be using a GP saddle. It's a little bit more straighter cut. Um, but if your budget allows, it is worth having a well-fitting saddle specific to each discipline you've, you're doing. So if you're doing jumping, have a jump saddle. If you're doing a bit of hacking, use your GP saddle. And if you're doing dressage, use your dressage saddle. Of course, it's your horse, so you decide on what is best for both of you based on the type of work you're doing. And obviously work with your local qualified saddle fitters to come up with a solution that works for both of you. So where can you get a jump saddle from? So you can work with your local qualified saddle fitter who should be able to source and supply you with a suitable saddle for both you and your horse. Or you can check out on Saddle Bank. And we've usually got a good range of new and new saddles available within the UK for obviously trial. And we also ship worldwide. So it's certainly worth having a look and just make a note of our website there just in case you do want to have a look. So if you're ready, let's take a look at the top 10 most popular jump saddles available on the market. So first up, we've got the Albion K2 Jump Saddle. And this is actually a firm favourite of mine. So it's a really, really beautiful saddle. It's really high quality, comfortable and supportive. Newer models are built on the adjuster tree, which means it can be altered up or down two sizes by Albion. However, it's still built on a more traditional wooden tree opposed to um, a more plastic type of tree, which obviously has an adjustable gullet system in it. So it is adjustable um, up or down two sizes, but only by a qualified Albion fitter. It's not something you can adjust yourself. Um, and the K2 is actually really, really popular for its fixed knee and thigh blocks, which offer riders really, really good support. And we've had riders before who like very minimalistic type of saddles saying, oh, I don't like blocks and everything. And once they ride in the K2, they find that they love the support it provides and they find it really, really comfortable. So they tend to convert over to a K2, obviously provided it fits their horse. Now the K2 has got a semi-deep seat and it has a square cantle. I say it's common for jump saddles to have a square cantle. And this saddle works really well on a variety of horses um, because it comes in different trees. So you've got their thoroughbred tree, their warm blood tree, and they've also got a flat tree. Now it's also got wool flocked drop panels and that also really works well on a variety of different horse conformations. So particularly horses with a bit of wither um, that works really well on those. It also comes in different rear gusset depths. So that's the back of the saddle, the back of the panel there that you can see under the seat essentially. Um, and you've got different de depths there to enable to balance the saddle out. So you can have two and a half, three inch, three and a half. 
Um, three inches are quite popular with horses with a bit of a wither, just gives them a little bit of a lift over the back and enables the saddle to be balanced. Now, the K2 is not an ultra close contact saddle. Let's say riders who are adamant they want a monoflap or they like minimalism, they can often be converted once they've ridden in the K2. So if you're thinking, oh no, not for me, just have a ride in it. If it, is, if it does fit your horse, have a ride in it and see how you feel. And the price point of this saddle is 1860. That's brand new. Um, and that's quite a fair price for an English made traditional saddle because they are such good quality Albions. So if you are looking for a new jump saddle, this is one definitely worth trying on your horse to see how you both get on. Um, but do bear in mind they do come in different trees. So if you're trying one online and it doesn't fit your horse, you might need a different tree. So just bear that in mind. Um, definitely worth having a look through with your saddle fitter. So we like them because they're high quality, they are comfortable and they have flock panels which allows for minor adjustments. Next up we are looking at the Black Country Wexford and Black Country saddles are known for their comfort and this provides the ultimate armchair ride. This is a really really great model for those who like to go out hunting. Um, so the seat is slightly deeper than some other jump saddles on the market but this contributes towards its comfort. It's got wool flock panels, which allows for minor adjustments from your fitter. Um, and these black country saddles can also be made to measure. Um, so you can have different tree types, different gusset depths, full gussets, half gussets, things like that. So lots of different customization you can have there to get the perfect fit for your horse. Um, and if you're looking for more of an everyday jump saddle or say one for hunting, this is a really good choice to look at. Um, we like them because they're high quality. Again, they're an English made saddle. They're super duper comfortable and they have flock panels, again, which allows some minor adjustments. So next up, we're looking at the Fairfax Andrew Hoy. And this is a really, really popular jump saddle in the market because it's obviously Fairfax is such a popular brand um, because it's a premium brand, but it's an adjustable gullet uh, saddle. So it's very easy to alter the width. They are wool flocked um, panels, again, allows for um, minor adjustments to be made but they've also got Fairfax performance panels so as you can see on the photograph there you've got these velcro blocks at the front and that just allows the horse's greater shoulder movement which is really really good for jumping cross country things like that and the actual panel is slightly further back again it allows the the horse more freedom of movement so it's a really really good one if you've got a horse that's got um that, light, that has big movements and you find that your saddle's getting thrown around a bit, this is a good one to try. Um, they've got obviously external knee and thigh blocks and they're really quite comfortable to ride in. Um, obviously this is a monoflap saddle so you will need to use a short girth with this one. And it also has variable girthing options so your fitter can get the perfect fit on this particular model because they can just move the different girth straps around to get the ideal fit for your horse. And obviously, as it is a monoflap jump saddle, it does reduce the bulk between the horse and rider. So some people don't like all the, you know, multiple flaps underneath their leg. They just like to feel the horse underneath them. So if you like that, this is a good one to try. And this is actually a really, really popular jump saddle for eventers. So if you're an eventer, again, it might be worth having a look at this one. And we love it because it is adjustable. It's a monoflap and it has those fantastic performance paddle panels to allow the, the horse freedom of movement. And the price point of this one is 2,600. So it is more obviously than an Albion, things like that. I'd say it is creeping up towards the higher end price point there. But um, at the moment in the current market, they're holding their value very, very well. Um, they are really popular, hard to get hold of. So they're quite a good choice to try, definitely to try. So this one comes in 17 and 17 and a half inch seat size. It's leather, uh, it's available in black and brown flocked panels um, so it's really really popular say for the everyday rider um, it's got velcro knee and thigh blocks so some riders like that because they can position the blocks where they feel comfortable and others find it it's a bit lacking in support some people really like those fixed blocks so it's completely up to you as a rider what you like and what you need um, and this saddle's also got the ghosted stitching around the knee pad you can see there and that just helps the knee pad mold around the knee block underneath that's a quite a nice feature to have and again, it's also got variable girthing arrangements so you can stabilise the saddle. So overall, this is a really good saddle for an everyday rider. Um, and we love it because it's adjustable, it's flocked and it's a really, really good price. 
Now, next up, we've got the Devaku Chiberta. Now, we're looking here at the 10 most popular jump saddles. And we've included this one because this is a really, really popular saddle with event riders. So, Devaku is a French brand, as you can see from their logo. Um, and it's also a high-end brand. So, the price of the saddle starts at £4,350. So, it is quite a pricey saddle. It's close contact and it's got foam panels. So, sadly, that means that no adjustments can be made to the saddle you know, in terms of flocking, it's not flocked, so you can't make those minor adjustments because the panels are foam. But it's made of beautiful butter soft calf leather. It has those external blocks for those who like support, and it is a good choice for some people who obviously like to go out cross country. So I've included it, I'd say, because it is a really popular saddle. However, in terms of fitting, it doesn't allow for much adjustment because obviously you can see on the picture that the girth straps essentially is a piece of leather that comes straight off the bottom of your saddle. So you can't um, make any adjustments with that to get a better fit, anything like that. Obviously the panels don't offer any room for adjustment and neither does the width saddle. However, if you like Devaku and they actually fit your horse, then it could be a really good choice for you if you find them really supportive. Um, but if you like Devaku and they don't fit your horse, it's definitely worth considering some of the other models we're discussing in this video, just because they might be something better off for you out there. So we like it because it's a monoflap, it's attractive, and it's a high-end saddle. Next up, we've got the Bates Advanta. And Bates are a really, really popular brand all over the world. Um, and they're a bit different to other saddles because they've got care cushion panels. So that means they don't have wool flocked and they don't have foam panels. So inside the panels of the here is essentially a rubber bag and it's got some sort of sponge uh, material inside that which offers a cushion system for the horse. So it's very different to other brands that are on the market. And it's the same for Wintech. Wintech and Bates are the same family and they both have that care cushion system inside. This particular model here, the Advanta, that was released in 2018 and has since um, become really, really popular amongst events ride, event riders. Um, it's close contact and obviously it's a monoflap, so it reduces the bulk between the horse and rider. It's got a really nice soft feel to the leather. Um, it also offers the rider a bit of grip to it as well, so it's quite nice, give you a bit more support there. It's got ergonomic stirrup bars, which can be positioned to suit the rider, as well as flexi contour blocks. So these blocks here, they can actually be adjusted slightly, so they can be positioned and angled to suit you. Um, it's adjustable gullet, so it's really easy to alter and goes up to extra wide, so from narrow up to extra wide. And obviously with the care panels, it means you can't make adjustments obviously with wool flocking, but you can actually adjust them with shims. So they have um, shim sets that go into uh, Wintech and Bates saddles, they're called the Easy, Easy Change Riser System, and you can add different depths, so four, eight millimeters, for example, and just give your saddle a little bit of a lift there. Um, but we do have a separate video on Bates and Wintech shims and Easy Riser System, Easy Change Rider System, and how to actually insert that. So if you're looking at a Bates, it might be worth having a look at that video. And this one's actually available in three color combos. So you can have it in all black, all brown or you've got the black and brown option as you can see on the screen here and this one's priced at 2699 so it's comparable to sort of the Fairfax Andrew Hoy price point um, a little bit more expensive than some others like the Albion but again it's cheaper than those of the Devaku and we like it because it's a monoflap it's a really attractive design and obviously it's adjustable and here we've got the Akeep Expression Special, which is a bit of a mouthful to say. And this is available in a monoflap or dual flap. So you can have single or two pieces of leather there. And we've got the dual flap version on the screen here. And that's quite popular with show jumpers. So Akeep saddles are really, really lightweight. And they offer the riders a really close contact feel. They're quite flat through the seat. And I say this because although sometimes Akeep saddles will class as slightly deeper seat, in compared to some other brands, we find them very flat through the seat. So if you looked at something like the, the Black Country, for example, it's a much deeper seat than this. So yes, the keep will have, uh, will have models which state they're slightly deeper or semi-deep seat, but generally when compared against other brands, they are quite flat. And they've also got quite minimal knee blocks on them, as you can see. So if you, if you are one of those people that doesn't like too much underneath, you doesn't like too much interfering with you, then this is a good choice to definitely try. And the leather they use on these is a really nice um, butter soft leather, which again gives the rider a really, really good grip. 
These are on the more premium end of the market. So these start at 2,350, but again, it's, it's still a little bit cheaper than the Fairfax or the Bates. So they're sort of comparable in that sort of price point. And they work really well on low to average withered horses with a fairly flat back. And we often find that they work quite well on things like Connemara ponies. So if you've got Connemara, who's a really good jumper, um, which is quite common, these are quite good choices for them um, so it's definitely worth having a look at they are foam panels so you can't have any adjustment ma adjustments made to the panels and the width is also fixed you can send it back to a keep in italy it's an italian brand to have them alter the width for you but obviously it's a bit of a faff sending it back so generally the size on these is fixed um, it's not obviously something like an adjustable gullet um, and they are commonly available secondhand in medium, medium wide. You can also find them in wide, um, but generally when you start getting the wider sizes, they are harder to find. So you would likely have to buy new if you are looking for a bit of a wider model. But we like them because they are high quality, they're lightweight and they are close contact. So next up, we've got the Black Country Quantum. Now, this is a really nice close contact saddle. Again, it's Black Country, so it's super, super comfortable. It has flop panels, which allow for the minor adjustments. And as you can see on this one here, you've got the um, front gusset there. So you've got different gusset options available to you if you do buy new. Um, it's also available on the Freedom Tree, which is really good for those native types. So if you've got a cobby type horse which loves jumping, this might be worth having a look at, but you would need it on the right tree for your horse. So you would need to speak to your fitter about that. And it's got fixed knee and thigh blocks again, which gives the rider really good support. So it's available obviously as you order it, generally from narrow to extra wide, or you can have it made to template. And it's available in 17, 17 and a half and 18 inch, black or brown, and it's comparable price to the Wexford at 1930. And we like it because it's high quality, comfortable, and again, flop panels allow for minor adjustments. Next up, we've got the Loxley LX, which is a really, really nice jump saddle, really well made. And Loxley saddles are made in Walsall, which is where most English saddles are actually manufactured. And they're really, really good quality. So they come in a range of different trees. So you've got the classic, which suits the thoroughbred types. You've got warm blood tree. You've got an adjustable tree, a hoop tree, and you've also got a pony tree. Um, so obviously the hoop tree is good for those really broad, wide um, horses. Um, and actually you can have them made in various different width fittings as well if you're not going on the adjustable. And they're also fully customizable. So you can choose your leather color, stitching color, welting color. You can have fancy bits added on the, on the, back, of the, on the back of the cantle. You can really customize these. So um, if you are looking to stand out and actually be really unique, this is a really good manufacturer to work with. The panels are wool flocked. Um, and obviously, as you can see on the LX model, the knee pads actually mould around that knee block. So they've got a fixed knee block underneath and the knee pads mould around to that, which is really nice um, feature they've got there. And these are comparable again. So they, they start at 1800. Obviously, if you want to start having fancy things put on the back and crystals and all sorts of different pieces, obviously the price is going to go up. But they start at 1800. So it is comparable to the Albion. Um, and they're available in sizes 15 inch up to 18 and a half inch and if you are buying second hand you'll probably find them 17 17 and a half inch on the classic or warm blood tree possibly the adjustable tree um, but if you are looking for either a pony or a hoop tree or something like that you probably will have to go new but yeah you can customize it to however you like so really really good brand to work with so we like them because they're high quality customizable and flocked and next up, we've got another Albion, and this time it's the K3 jump. So this one is modelled on the success of the K2 jump, which is the first one we saw at the start. However, this is designed for the event, event rider. So it is a monoflap saddle, so it reduces the bulk between the horse and rider. So you've just got one single piece of leather there. Um, you've got external knee and thigh blocks on this one, as you can see, and you can actually have them. I don't know if you can see on this photo here at the front and back of the blocks, you can have it super blingy, glitzy bits on there in different colours. And then you can have the matching stitching, the matching welting. So you can see this one's got blue glittery bits, blue stitching and blue welting. And it's really stands out. So if you've got a particular cross country colour, this could look really, really good for you. Um, the panels are wool flocked again allows for minor adjustments and it is built on that Albion adjuster tree so the width can be altered up or down two sizes by an Albion qualified fitter 
and it does allow for um, the girthing arrangement to be moved slightly so you, again you can get that perfect fit there and the price of this one is 2300 so again it's, it's comparable to that price of the Akeep, um, a little bit cheaper than the Fairfax, a little bit cheaper um, than a few of the other ones we've seen but a really really good option to have a look at and we like it because it's high quality, it's comfortable and it is flocked. So which one's right for you and your horse? So it depends on your budget. So we've shown you a range of saddles here, priced from 975 with the Kenton Masters up to 4350 with the Devaku. So there's various different options available to you. You can also purchase the saddle secondhand from the saddle bank, a fraction of the new price. So if you've fallen in love with the saddle, but it's over your budget, then do take a look at the saddle bank website as you may be able to get obviously the model you want, but in a second hand. Um, and the benefit of a second hand is that someone's already broken the saddle in for you. So it's not very stiff and rigid when you get it. It's nice and comfy and it's ready to go. But obviously do bear in mind that saddles do come on different trees. So you might need a specific tree to your horse. So don't just think I'm going for the Albion K2. Yes, but which tree do you want? Do you want the thoroughbred tree? Do you want the warm blood tree? Do you want the flat tree? So do bear that in mind. And they all do measure very slightly different. So do take into consideration you may need a reflock when buying a second saddle, a second hand saddle and things like that. So different things to consider, but work with your fitter and obviously work with an online retailer such as a saddle bank to get your perfect saddle. You also want to consider the size of the rider. So um, height, weight, things like that. Obviously, we're all different shapes and sizes. Some of us have got longer legs, some of us have got short legs. And when you're looking at a jump saddle, it is quite important to look at the size and the length of your leg because obviously you're looking at the knee blocks and where they are positioned, the size of the blocks. It's a really big factor in determining how comfortable you are and also the type of position you can achieve over that jump. So it's really, really worth trying a few different saddles and seeing what works best for you. You also need to look at obviously what you're going to do with the horse. So here we're specifically looking at jump saddles and some of them will be better for show jumpers, some will be better for eventers. Um, it does seem that eventers tend to go for mono flaps and show jumpers for dual flaps but if you are a show jumper and you prefer mono that's absolutely fine. Um, you should also think about as we said at the start how often you're going to be jumping and if a jump saddle is the right choice. If you're doing more flat work or hacking a GP saddle might be better for you. Um, so just obviously think about what's best for the horse as well not just obviously what you prefer based on your brand preference or your design preference. Do think about what is best for the horse based on the work you're going to be doing with it. And then you need to think about your preference towards uh, adjustable or traditional. So some people are very, I don't want an adjustable gullet saddle because I like a traditional wooden tree and that's their preference. Other people do not want a fixed tree they want adjustable because horses do change shape and size and they want that flexibility there to be able to alter the width quite easily so it's completely personal preference but just think about obviously what's going to work best for you finally have a think about how big you will actually be jumping and be honest about it so if you're going to be jumping very large jumps you and you and you want a good amount of support then you're going to need to be looking at saddle with bigger knee blocks and that might work best for you. Obviously some, pri some riders do prefer smaller blocks when, even when jumping large. It's obviously, again, personal preference. But if you are pottering around in the field um, and, or you've got a very young horse, for example, think about whether now is the right time to get a jump saddle or, again, would a GP work better for you? Because GP saddles are not just for flat work. They are general purpose and sometimes called all purpose. So they do allow you to jump in them as well. So just have a think about how big you're going to be jumping. Is a jump saddle right for you? And then obviously, which jump saddle is right for you? Do you want fixed blocks, velcro blocks? Do you want a flatter seat, a deeper seat? Do you want a fixed or adjustable? Loads of things to take into consideration. So just have a look and think through what's going to work best for you and the horse. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you found the video really useful and found loads and loads of tips in there. Don't forget to hit subscribe so that you can stay up to date. And also don't forget to go and find us on social media, Facebook and Instagram at The Saddle Bank and check out what we've got on there. And if you want a chance to be featured on our Instagram page, all you need to do is hashtag The Saddle Bank Riders and we will feature your photos. So I hope to see you again soon. Bye.